Good evening. Good evening. Welcome all. Please check audio and video. Please check audio and video. How is audio and video? Clear or not? Sir, I am not clear. Number. Clear or not? Sir, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Our last class today, feedback, negative feedback amplification of the number of feedback concept in amplifier. Negative feedback will be no number positive feedback in a consistently positive by person criteria. So that is the criterion for sustained oscillation. Oscillation the working principle on the brain is the Barkhausen criteria, positive feedback, and the condition is Barkhausen criteria. So the person criterion and the right positive feedback employee chain of circuits are done. Very good. But some circuits are not oscillated side to side. Okay. So in this discussion, we will positive feedback employee chain of circuits. Now, what is the discussion? Oscillators. Sinusoidal oscillators. Okay. So basic principle. Of oscillator is positive feedback. Positive feedback. So oscillators employ positive feedback. That means the portion of output that is fed to input that is in phase with the input signal. So any, any disturbance in the uh, input input uh, disturbance, or either input level, you know, noise pickup, very much. Feedback signal will be in phase with this. Uh, the disturbance and it grows uh, due to this feedback concept. Positive feedback is sometimes called the regenerative, regenerative feedback. Regenerative feedback in the brain. Or the cartesian in the brain, the bar cousin. Criterion. Bar Cousin criterion is the basic principle behind oscillatory circuits. So, sinusoidal oscillators, like we have discussed in the oscillators, in the different types of oscillators are the uh, RC oscillators. So, we'll first discuss about the RC phase shift oscillator. Okay, oscillator. Another type of RC oscillator is vein bridge, bridge oscillator, bridge oscillator, LC oscillators, LC oscillators. We have two types of LC oscillators, Hartley oscillator, basic elements. You, uh, um, the feedback network contains LC circuit. Another oscillator is called pit. Called pit oscillator. And finally, crystal oscillator. Crystal oscillator. So, we will discuss this. RC phase shift oscillator, vein bridge oscillator, LC oscillator. LC oscillator. Two types were another Hartley and the Colpitt oscillator and the crystal oscillator. <coughs> so oscillators are lumb work in the positive feedback concept and Barkosan criterion and the variable criterion based on the data. About another first oscillator, RC phase shift oscillator, like that. First oscillator type is RC phase shift oscillator.
in the circuit the feedback network consists of uh, cascaded connection of rc network okay. rc network capacitor and the resistor this is an rc network resistance value r at a particular frequency capacitor is replaced by capacitive reactance xc xc is given by xc equal to uh, 1 by j omega c okay reactance of capacitor reactance of capacitor as a frequency dependent on about omega and variable the angular frequency on angular frequency c capacitance then reactance is 1 by j omega c so x c can be can also be written as minus j by omega c since the reactance value uh, 1 by j is equal to minus j you can write the reactance of capacitor as 1 by j omega c our resistance value is a constant value independent of frequency if this is v in and this is v out then uh, phase angle phase difference that is produced by this rc network phase shift mathra nam nammal consider cheyunnathu ivada verunna apply cheyina voltage ivada verunna voltage nalla phase shift nadakkum appo avada voltage apply cheyumbo current ennu parayunnathu inductor le lead lead ichu so voltage is the voltage leads output input voltage by a phase angle let, let us denote that phase angle by phi that is equal to tan inverse omega c sorry by x c by r and this formula is equal to tan inverse 1 by omega r c okay tan inverse 1 by 2 pi f omega is 2 pi f so this is the phase shift produced by an rc network so maximum phase shift namak ethra kittunnathu available phase shift ennu parana that depends on element values and the frequency maximum phase shift will be obtained when resistance become zero value and in that case tan inverse infinity maximum phi is tan inverse infinity infinity that is when resistance becomes zero in that condition 90 degree is the phase shift so maximum phase shift available at the output will be 90 degree that means uh, output voltage needs input voltage by 90 degree so 90 degree phase shift is uh, maximum achieve cheyan pattunna pakshe r n value or uh, non zero value variyanengil phase shift will be less than 90 okay practically phase shift will be less than 90 okay appo namaku 45 degree phase shift kittanengil namaku adin anusarichulla value r choose cheyam adu pole edu phase shift namaku kittum so phi actually lies between 0 degree and 90 degree okay so namaku ishta adu idinde values anusarichu namaku phase shift ennu parayunnathu edu particular value fix cheyan pattu appo r shift phase shift oscillator use cheynadu icharam rc network aanu adinde beta adayathu feedback network il varunnathu appo beta ennu parayunnathu frequency dependent aanu adu ore frequency lum ore particular phase shift varu so namukku ivada discuss cheyyam nammal ivada discuss cheyna phase shift network le three rc networks are connected in cascade so the beta network consists of three rc circuits and there will be a basic amplifier then the structure namukku already ariya there will be a basic amplifier and output is fed back to input through a feedback network and this feedback network provides the 180 degree phase shift because transistor will give a 180 degree phase shift so total phase shift should be equal to 360 degree by barcolson criterion okay but i'm going to say total phase shift of loop gain should be a b theta total phase shift in the way another 360 degree but 360 degree beta network provides a 180 degree phase shift and the uh, amplifier inverting amplifier gives a 180 degree phase shift so total phase shift will be 180 plus 180 that is equal to uh, 360 degree along matter if rc network or positive 180 degree phase shift inverter will give a negative 180 degree positive 180 degree negative 180 degree uh, okay so total phase shift will be zero degree i mean 360 degree item total phase shift equal to 360 degree item otherwise zero degree item so the 
circuit rc phase shift oscillator circuit using transistor consists of uh, a transistor amplifier we take a ce amplifier okay ce amplifier this is output so output is fed back to input we are using a biasing network as a show the voltage divider bias network okay these are grounded we are using a so here there is no connection connection is there but so this one to get capacitor then resistor capacitor and resistor then again a capacitor uh, here we are uh, we are connecting a resistor here okay so so you have vcc in the voltage so this is rc r2 r1 re ce c1 c2 and uh, this is output capacitor these two resistance values are taken as r or capacitance value is taken as c okay you know this is uh, some r3 value base resistance value is taken as r3 r3 so this is the rc phase shift uh, oscillator now go the rc phase shift oscillator we are using three uh, rc networks see ivadu ningo to nokumbulla resistance resistance at the terminal input terminal is ha and r will be equal to r3 uh, parallel with the, uh, some input resistance of this transistor circuit about apa input resistance of transistor circuit in series with r3 will give total resistance value r so we are using three rc network each rc network give provides a 60 degree phase shift okay each rc network provide a 60 degree phase shift and we are using three rc networks give 3 into 60 degree that is equal to 180 degree so required 180 degree phase shift is provided by the rc network so <clears throat> at a particular frequency condition this particular phase condition will be achieved and the remaining 180 degrees transistor is in ce mode ce amplifier provides a 180 degree phase shift because uh, uh, voltage will be inverted at the output of ce amplifier so total phase shift equal to total phase shift equal to 360 degree 180 plus 180 equal to 360 degree or if you take difference we will get zero degree but in the case i am same on total phase shift of 360 degree or zero degree that means the feedback signal is in phase with the need disturbance so by here uh, uh, case like in work in the signal without any input the circuit will produce a sustained oscillation appo ibada work cheynad inganeyana any disturbance at the input of uh, transistor will produce a current or voltage at the output that will be fed back to input that is that will be in phase with the this disturbance disturbance at in phase i think so uh, in phase uh, right very more uh, disturbance increases in amplitude that is coupled to the output okay output like to varum a change veendum regenerative aitla so there will be a regenerative action and regener due to this regenerative action uh, that particular frequency signal will be amplified till we get the sustained oscillation at the output and frequency of oscillation f not oscillation frequency is 1 by 2 pi rc into root 6 okay this is formula for calculating frequency of oscillation and uh, the gain of amplifier gain am amplifier gain uh, should be greater than 29 something or uh, value under apo 29 angle gain vena beta is equal to such value gain is uh, greater than 29 greater than or equal to 29 apo minimum 29 gain angle vena amplifier gain 
and the sustained oscillation uh, is given by 1 by 2 pi r c root 6. Okay. So, this is an advantage of the advantages of R C phase shift oscillator. It's a uh, simple oscillator, simple to construct, and uh, uh, it is very cheap. Cheap one, it uses only index, uh, sorry, capacitor and resistor. Capacitor and resistor are used in a ball, like a cheap one, a simple circuit. Down. It uses only one transistor. So, uh, overall circuit, cost of overall circuit is very low. And this type of uh, oscillators are used in low frequency applications, mainly in audio frequency. So, audio frequency is generated here, audio frequency, the oscillator right on a use signal. So, basic use of RC phase shift oscillator is as a audio frequency, audio frequency oscillator. So, its frequency is limited. Uh, limited because uh, uh, high frequency like you remember, transistor so shows uh, some uh, capacitance effect. And then I and I the frequency limited. So audio frequency oscillate right down the basically you see another. It is used in audio amplifier, uh, modulating circuits where audio amplification is required. Uh, that, uh, example, uh, radio, radio system, okay, you see. Karnam. I not okay, audio frequency amplifies the end of the network, but the mobile application will okay. Audio signal application will learn how to fit the remote to use it. The basic arguments are the same. Other than a bar token, the median and the idea, the phase shift to the other one, the frequency of oscillation will be the formula. In the room, the detailed derivation of the formula, the frequency of oscillation formula will be the gain condition. The Kabakosin criteria is a common number derived chain. Okay, then uh, its advantage is very cheap. Okay, hello, uh, sir. Advantage? R3 no uh, resistance in Lella, sir. Chella circuit directly. R3 number provide in the Garnum ER3 transistor and the input resistance. R1 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 
okay and the parallel combination of receptor and the capacitor then to resistor okay this is feedback circuit r1 c1 r2 c2 input is taken between these two okay input is taken between these two points feedback is feedback ഇവിടെ ട്രാൻസിസ് നമുക്ക് ഇത് ആംബ്ലിഫയറിന്റെ ഇൻസിപ്പായി ആൻഡ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഈസ് അഗെയിൻ യു വൺ ടു അനദർ ആംബ്ലിഫയർ ഓർ ഇൻവേർട്ടർ output is taken at the output of second transistor the feedback is taken from the output of the second transistor this is rb r1 r2 uh, this is rc2 r c 1 okay uh, grounded this is connected to this this uh, grounded the circuit let it be supplied here okay this is r 3 r 3 and this is r 4 this is grounded okay so feedback feedback is taken from the output to so this transistor this two transistors the uh, user has amplified so we are using two transistors transistor 1 c1 and t2 for amplification and giving a 180 degree uh, sorry uh, this network uh, provides a 360 degree phase shift this will give a 360 or 0 degree phase shift so ibada nammal nokkaranga it will give a 0 degree phase shift so ee rendu transistors um kuda oru 360 degree phase shift ver so t1 and t2 transistor uh, transistors in this amplifier give a 360 degree phase shift and the phase shift network phase shift network phase shift network will give a zero degree phase shift or feedback network feedback network feedback network gives a zero degree phase shift okay and uh, uh, the function of this transistor is to provide uh, overall 360 degree phase shift and uh, amplifier c1 and t2 amp uh, transistor uh, amplifier circuits amplifiers okay now is in the balanced condition at the particular frequency lana that frequency frequency is given by 1 by 2 pi square root of r1 r2 c1 c2 so this is at that particular frequency of oscillation frequency of oscillation can be derived uh, at that frequency at, the, at that frequency the phase shift that is if we apply a voltage at these two points and voltage output voltage is taken at that this these two points then the phase shift of output voltage with respect to the feedback voltage should be zero our phase shift is zero with the condition which we are given in the frequency of oscillation deriving so frequency of oscillation is given by 1 by 2 pi square root of r1 r2 c1 c2 if r1 equal to r2 equal to r and c1 equal to c2 equal to 
C, then frequency of oscillation F naught can be written as 1 by 2 pi R C. Okay. So, correspondingly, A beta in the value, yes, sir, e A beta in the value, where under the A beta should be equal to magnitude of A beta should be equal to 1. Here, network 1 by 3 at the end of the gain. Vairandadu. Overall, network in the gain, beta magnitude in the range 1 by 3. Yana. So, necessary gain A is equal to 3 should be provided by the amplifier network. Okay. Here, another the function in the range of the RC network. Yana. So, cheap uh, reward elements. So, um, circuit uses only RC network. That is the advantage, and it is used in audio frequency application because RC, RC elements are audio low frequency application. We use it in high frequency. use it audio frequency application. Feedback network. Series combination of RC and parallel combination of RC. And this is a bridge network. Bridge in the condition in Korea, the balance the bridge of this R3 divided by this impedance. The condition is R3, the product of these two impedances. R3 into R3 into this impedance is set to equal to uh, R4 into R4 into impedance of this, that is set one. Z1 is the impedance side of the area. Uh, for example, Z1 is the number of calculating R1 minus J omega C1. R1 minus J omega by C1. Okay. Here impedance is Z1. So, as in the real part, imagine that in the equity, from that we can obtain the frequency of oscillation. Bridge balance is the condition of the here and impedance in the product. Here and impedance in the product is equal to Okay, application of the same bridge oscillator is an audio frequency oscillator. This used as audio frequency oscillator. So that will give the necessary condition. The audio frequency is the moderate in other. Then NC oscillator. PLC oscillators. In LC oscillators, we use LC tank circuit as the feedback network. So uh, there are two types of, uh, mainly two types of uh, LC oscillator. First one is Hartley oscillator. So this is third Hartley. Hartley oscillator. Hartley oscillator in the circuit diagram. We have a C amplifier. Okay. I'll put it taken from here. R1, R2, R1. Work around that. The output is fed back to input. Through feedback network. Okay. L1 and L2. That is connected in parallel with the capacitor C. This is the circuit of uh, Hartley oscillator. This is VCC. We are using, instead of uh, the system, we are using a chalk circuit. Chalk. Chalk. That is used for filtering the AC filter. How it is taken from here? AC chalk. AC chalk is used uh, instead of the load resistor because this type of uh, oscillators and C oscillators are employed in very high frequency. Basically, LC oscillators 
postulates produce produce r of signal r of is radio frequency signal that is in megahertz range uh, hundreds of kilohertz to few megahertz apo or lc oscillators will use in the r of signal and so we will use the uh, r of chalk r of chalk as a load resistance as a uh, load resistance load instead of rc okay the here is circuit on verunade so then the uh, frequency of oscillation this is the output frequency of oscillation oscillation f not equal to 1 by 2 pi root of l equivalent into c l equivalent is the equivalent inductance equal to l1 plus l2 plus 2a okay l1 is inductance of first coil l2 is inductance of second coil and m is mutual inductance between them okay m is mutual inductance mutual inductance so we will calculate the l equivalent using this formula then find the frequency of oscillation okay idha circuit nu parayunnathu appo ee capacitor nu use cheyunnathu dc isolation vendikana appo ingane yana adinte working mutual inductance okay so application of rt oscillator the oscillator uh, that generate rf signal so they are used as rf uh, oscillators in communication system where we require radio frequency signal as carrier carrier is carrier is generated appo ee carrier adu pole local oscillator aitta okay namukku hartley oscillator use cheya in rf circuit okay so oru vaada application varu modulation process okka varuna ella communication system ilum rf signal source aitta namukku ee hartley oscillator use cheya vendu okay clear aanlo next oscillator type is call pit oscillator Fourth type of oscillator is called pitch oscillator. Called pitch oscillator. The circuit will use uh, almost same uh, circuit and yana, but I would use capacitor on you see. Instead of indexes, it is capacitor. This is the end. L C one C two. Okay, such oscillators are also used to produce R signal. So R chalk is uh, used as uh, instead of R C. Frequency of os oscillation is L into C equivalent. C equivalent is one by C equivalent. Or C equivalent is calculated using. C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2. Okay. C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So in this formula, we can calculate the frequency of oscillation. Now, we will take a part of the index and replace it. A part of the is replaced here. And then we will do the circuit on the core pit of the data. So, call pit oscillator will capacitor divided between the two. Half the inductor divided between the two. Okay. 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 the cost for the like mattuna adinde size aan size will be large because of inductor inductor is bulky so the size will be large as compared with the rf oscillator 
price will be large. Cost is uh, high. So index two element, and uh, this will this circuit since it is operating in R of cycle theory, harmonic will be produced. Harmonic will be produced in LC circuit. So the frequency uh, stability, number one, okay, now the frequency stability is very low. Frequency can change. The index one capacitor, okay. Temperature now the surrounding condition can change. The variation will be under. Their frequency is not a stable frequency, so frequency can vary. These are disadvantages of uh, LC oscillators. Okay, we are on a low. Then. Another uh, type of oscillator is the crystal oscillator. Crystal oscillator, not to do oscillator circuit. It is a piece of electric device. Crystal, quartz crystal. Quartz are oscillator. Oh, crystal circuit. Shut up. Let out. 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 ഏതാ 